Yeah, the bird. individual performances really don't matter at all. How grueling was your off season? To, you know, what did they try to do for you as far as putting in position to turn on the ball? And, you know, does it get lower, use your shoulders more, that type of thing? Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely. Like, it's all those things that you need to correct, just a bunch of little things, cutting your speed, like I said, you know, pads, catching the ball, like, all those things I was trying to work on all season. How much last year with your uh, broken collarbone, how did that affect you as far as preparation for, that, for last season? I mean, it came out of a couple weeks of practice, but I mean, once I got back, you know, I got a lot more reps and a lot more extra conditioning and stuff to catch up, so. you feel like you were hitting the whole Saturday the way you wanted to? Uh, I mean, I, you could always do better. I mean, there was a lot of things I saw that I missed. And, yeah, you could those things fixed because they could have been really good plays. So. They were loading up the box with seven, eight guys. Does that get frustrating? Like, not being able, how many holes are getting created or anything like that? No. You know, that's football. And, you know, if you want to be a good running team, then that's going to happen. Like, you have to take advantage, or take advantage of it in the past game and be able to run against eight people in the box. How'd you feel in the mental game last week? I mean, the, anything weighing on your mind? Uh, just trying to clear everything out in the middle of the game or at the beginning of the game, I fumble and just try to block as good as possible. Does that, do fumbles get in the running back's head? You had the two in the first game, you got better as this one went along, but is that the type of thing that can get in the running back's head? I mean, definitely. It's one of those things where you just don't want it to happen. And if it does, you know, you're like, you know, don't want it happen again, and sometimes it does. And just eats away at you sometimes. You feel you've gotten better at handling that over in the last two games but over the course of your career? Uh, I mean, I improved just from learning that from that first game, just get out of my head as quick as possible and move on with the rest of the game. So. How do you avoid overcorrecting for something like that? You know, say, okay, now I'm going to wrap it up with two arms, you know, and get carry when you don't need to, but, you're, you know, that becomes a concern. Uh, I mean, again, just blocking it out of your head as quick as possible. I mean, don't try to overcompensate and just don't. I mean, act like it didn't happen. Okay. It seemed like it took you guys kind of a while to get going against that Iowa State front line. Is it? What do you think was kind of the reason it got it was so tough to run the ball at least early in the ball game? Uh, I mean, they're a good team. They're a good defense. They have good linebackers and good D line. So. Did last Saturday leave a bad taste in anybody's mouth? Are you guys a little bit hungrier this week? Definitely. I mean, any game that you lose, any rival game, big game, I mean, they're one of our biggest rivals, so losing that game and it was a close game, and it's definitely leaving a bad taste on that. How did you grade out? Yeah, you have to go through the tape and everything. What did uh, Lester kind of go over with you? How, how did you do anything you grade out? Um... Again, a lot of mistakes, a lot of things I needed to correct. I mean, the effort was there, but still have to get those other things fixed up one on one How'd you feel Sunday morning when you woke up? What was sore? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it felt good to be sore again, you know. That's one of those things that you miss. I mean, you hate it when you are sore, but you miss it when you're not. So. Do you have a breaking point? I mean, you carried every every handoff was, was to you. I mean, I mean, I don't feel like I reached it, so we'll see. Marcus, um, for a team as young as you guys and, you know, as inexperienced as you are, it almost seems as though you're not maybe going to figure out who you guys are until you see some adversity. Is that where you guys are at this week, dealing with adversity for the first time? I mean, I feel like every every year you have a new team, no matter how many people you bring back. So you have to face adversity every season. And, like, you learn who you are as a team every year from that adversity. So, I mean, we'll see how we are as a team this this week coming up. This week, there's going to be talk about that running back and leading the nation in rushing. It's for running back yourself, does that mo maybe motivate you a little bit more to go out there and have a solid performance when you see what the competition is? I mean, definitely. I mean, he's a great running back and they have a great offense. So, I, mean, I have to step my game up again. Like him. You talk about that uh, the second overtime possession, one pass to Marv, and I think it was run, run, run you. Maybe your strongest runs of the game. Uh, did, were you feeling pretty good at that point? Uh, just 
refusing to lose, you know, not wanting to lose like, that game. Just, you don't get tired anymore and you just want to win. It's just a drive and a win. Can you talk about gas tank? I mean, 35 carries, I think, was that's your career high Saturday. and uh, you, seemed, you seemed okay. You seemed strong at the end. Uh, can you, did you have much left? Did you have a lot left? Did, are you yeah. one of those runners who gets stronger as the game goes on? Yeah, I mean, definitely. I, mean, I feel like, you know, we're one of those teams that we do get stronger. The O-line gets stronger. They block better. And, you know, I have to keep up with them and run better than them. So.